You're watching the Ship on Day One Field Guide. I'm Hans, let's get ship done. You're probably watching this video because you're interested in hosting. Now, hosting can mean many different things in different contexts, but when we talk about it here, we mean the system in which you can deploy your application to your users. And this can include multiple things. It can include the environments that you use in order to develop and host your application, as well as the databases and services that they talk to when they're running. A well thought out hosting environment gives multiple benefits. First of all, it means that you have solid test data for testing and quality assurance. Secondly, it means that you have a good structure by which all members of your team can access all stages, including production, test, and staging. However, there are some symptoms of a suboptimal hosting, hosting infrastructure. You might want to watch out for these. They include testing your changes in production before you test them anywhere else, coding directly in production, and over-leveraging production databases and services. If you notice any of these symptoms, it might be a good time to make a change to your hosting. When making changes, it's important to be intentional to make sure that they work for your team and your technology stack in particular. At Ship on Day One, we've created the Field Guide, which is a growing list of resources for hosting. In addition, we've created a video series on scaling, measuring, and optimizing your team's hosting. You can find both those resources, as well as so many more, at shipondayone.com. I'll see you there. Thank you.